So I'm here today to talk about uh, how busy we are going to be this summer, about how destructive it is when people bring prohibited items to the checkpoint, and then finally how to travel legally with a firearm. So I can tell you that na nationwide TSA is expecting about a 5% increase in the number of passengers coming through the security checkpoint that's across the board. At Boise we expect to see at least that much. So when people come to the airport this summer, they need to know that they're going to have a lot of company and that there's going to be uh, not the usual experience that they get in other times of the year. So a little planning really goes a long way. Now one of the things that most often slows down the security checkpoint process is when people bring prohibited items. Every single one of these items is prohibited in carry-on baggage, but interestingly enough, every single one of these could be transported in checked baggage. We have a mini bat here. Mini bats are not allowed. They could be used as a club or a bludgeon, that kind of thing. So we ask them, people, not to bring those in their uh, carry-on bag. Brass knuckles and any type of these martial arts items, they're not allowed in your carry-on baggage. Please place them in your check baggage. These playing cards here are, have a variety of uses. They have edges as sharp as razor blades. And they could be used as a weapon on a plane, so we ask people to put those in your uh, check baggage. Knives are one of the more common items that we see. Knives are not allowed of any size. Any item that has a knife or a blade is also not allowed. The one that comes to mind uh, first is a corkscrew. A corkscrew itself would be allowed, but many corkscrews have a blade that pops out the side to open the bottle to cut the label. That is what makes it not allowed in your carry-on bag. Many people are surprised to learn that they can travel on a commercial aircraft with a firearm. However, there are certain rules that must be followed. And I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate what those are. But your firearm is unloaded. Once that's the case, you can put it right in your hard-sided case. Any magazine should be stored in the case as well. And if you're traveling with ammunition, it should be placed in its original packaging and put inside the hard-sided case with the other items. Once they've been packed in there, Go ahead and close the case and then lock it up. Once again, two locks are required to make sure no one can get uh, unauthorized access to your firearm. Place this in your checked baggage. When you arrive at the airport, you're going to want to go right to the ticket counter for the airline that you're flying. When you are at the ticket counter, you'll just need to declare to the customer service agent that you're traveling with a firearm. They hear this all the time. They will ask you to sign a declaration. They will give you a copy of that declaration and ask you to place it in your uh, checked baggage. You will not leave your checked baggage with the customer service agent. You'll be asked to bring it over to the oversized baggage drop, which is right here. There will always be somebody in this area when they direct you here, the customer service agent will direct you here. At the Boise Airport in 2015, we've had six firearms brought to the security checkpoint by passengers. The most recent one was this past weekend when a passenger ticketed for travel to Sacramento brought a firearm and 20 rounds of ammunition in his carry-on bag. Our TSA officers detected that, notified law enforcement, and he was cited on a state charge. It's also going to be a very expensive mistake for that passenger because TSA can levy a civil penalty of up to $7,500 for doing that. So it's just not worth it for people, especially when there is a legal way to travel with a firearm. And here are those steps. If you want to travel with a firearm, you need to unload it, you need to put it in a locked, hard-sided case, and you need to declare it to the airline. It'll be placed with your check baggage in the belly of the aircraft, and you'll be able to pick that up at your destination. So the process is pretty simple and straightforward. So if people would like to get more information on how to travel legally with a firearm, you can go to the tsa.gov website, look at traveler information, and there's a whole section on how to travel with firearms and ammunition.